Good day, folks. Welcome to Sentinel Skills, your trusted guide to all things security. We're your beacon in the foggy world of security protocols, ensuring you're armed with the right knowledge. Today, we're going to unravel a vital topic, the Site Security Survey. We'll be exploring its nuances and how it is a unique entity in the security landscape, distinctly different from risk assessments and security audits. So, buckle up. Today, we're delving into the nitty-gritty of Site Security Surveys and how they stand apart from risk assessments and security audits. To begin with, what exactly is a site security survey? A site security survey, in its simplest terms, is a thorough investigation of a property or facility to evaluate its security needs. Think of it as a deep dive into the physical and procedural security measures in place designed to identify vulnerabilities and suggest improvements. This assessment is not just about locks, alarms and cameras. It's a comprehensive look at everything from the layout of a location to the behavior of people within it. It takes into account factors such as the surrounding area, access points, internal security controls, lighting, and even landscaping features that could potentially be exploited by a threat. So why is a site security survey so important? Well, a well-conducted survey can provide a detailed picture of the current security status, highlighting areas of weakness that may not be immediately apparent. It's through these insights that we can devise effective strategies to bolster security and protect the site from potential threats. The process of conducting a site security survey usually involves several key steps. First, there's an initial meeting with the site management to understand the site operations and perceived threats. Then a physical walkthrough of the premises takes place, observing and noting all aspects of the site's security. This is followed by an evaluation of the site's current security measures and procedures. The survey concludes with a comprehensive report detailing the findings and providing recommendations for enhancing security. Remember, the goal here is not to catch out the site for its flaws, but to help it become more secure. It's about identifying vulnerabilities and understanding how they can be mitigated. The survey is an opportunity to get ahead of potential security issues before they become a problem. A site security survey is not a one-time thing either. It's a continuous process that should be repeated periodically to ensure the security measures in place are up-to-date and effective in the face of evolving threats. Uh, so, in essence, a site security survey is a comprehensive evaluation of your security measures designed to identify vulnerabilities. Now that we understand site security surveys, how do they differ from risk assessments? At their core, both a site security survey and a risk assessment serve to fortify your organization against potential threats. Let's start with site security surveys. A site security survey is like a health checkup for your organization's security measures. It's a comprehensive review of your current security systems, hardware procedures and personnel. The survey aims to identify any weaknesses or vulnerabilities that could be exploited by malicious parties. On the other hand, a risk assessment is more like a diagnostic test. It doesn't just look at the current state of your security systems. It delves deeper, examining potential threats and vulnerabilities that could arise in the future. It's a proactive approach, akin to a doctor not only diagnosing a disease, but also predicting potential health risks based on the patient's lifestyle and genetics. The process of each is also distinct. A site security survey involves conducting physical inspections, reviewing security procedures, and evaluating personnel competencies. It's about asking, are we doing everything we can to protect ourselves right now? A risk assessment, however, involves a broader range of activities. It includes risk identification, risk analysis, and risk evaluation. It's about asking, what could possibly go wrong in the future and how can we prevent it? And finally, the outcomes of each are different as well. The result of a site security survey is a detailed report outlining the current state of your security measures and any identified weaknesses. The outcome of a risk assessment, however, is a risk management plan. This plan outlines potential threats, their likelihood, their potential impact and strategies to mitigate them. It provides a roadmap to improve your security posture in the future. So, in a nutshell, while both are crucial, a risk assessment is more about identifying potential threats, whereas a site security survey is about assessing the effectiveness of your current security measures. So, we've compared site security surveys and risk assessments, but where does a security audit stand in all of this? 
Well, the distinction is quite significant. Let's start with the purpose of each. A site security survey is a thorough physical examination of a property to identify potential vulnerabilities. It's like a health checkup for your premises, pinpointing areas that may be susceptible to security breaches. On the other hand, a security audit is a more detailed examination of an organization's information systems. It scrutinizes how well the existing security policies are being adhered to. Think of it as an annual report card, measuring the effectiveness of your security measures against established standards and regulations. Now let's talk about the process. A site security survey involves a physical inspection of the premises, looking at all aspects of the site from the perimeter to the interior. It reviews access controls, surveillance systems, lighting and more. It's a hands-on, boots-on-the-ground approach to security. A security audit, however, is more about paperwork and protocols. It reviews the organization's security policies, procedures and practices. It looks at how data is stored and protected, how access is controlled and how incidents are handled. It's a meticulous, in-depth review of your security systems from a policy perspective. The results of each are also different. A site security survey will provide you with a detailed report of vulnerabilities, offering recommendations on how to improve your security. A security audit, however, provides a comprehensive overview of your organization's adherence to security policies and standards. It identifies gaps in compliance and provides recommendations for improvement. It gives you a clear picture of where you stand in terms of regulatory compliance. So when we compare the two, it's clear that they serve different but equally important purposes. Through this journey, we've seen that these three processes, site security surveys, risk assessments and security audits, each have their unique purposes. They are not interchangeable, but rather they complement each other. Together, they form a comprehensive approach to security, providing a holistic view that considers potential threats, existing vulnerabilities, and policy adherence. In a world where security threats are ever evolving and increasingly sophisticated, understanding these processes and their unique contributions can make the difference between a secure facility and one that's vulnerable to threats. Thank you for tuning into Sentinel Skills today. If you found this information useful, do like, share and subscribe for more such enlightening videos. Stay secure, folks.